crazy, and then you see 50, and then, what? It's Bieber with the James <laughs> Dean haircut? Like brain, brain overload exploding. What's up guys, Nikki Novak here in the Young Hollywood studio with Sal Masekela. How's it going? Really good, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. You're looking around in wonder, I love it. Well, you know, it's not every day that I get to come to the Four Seasons, B, A, and B, like I walked in, I was like, I wonder what their setup is like, and this is, this is amazing. Yeah. Well, you're used to this whole world. I mean, you've hosted a ton for yeah. E and, you know, ESPN. And it's weird being on the other side, but yeah, you know, I did four and a half years on the Daily Ten at E which was a lot of fun and I've been at ESPN for the last 13 years as a you know the action sports go-to guy right. so X Games and skateboarding snowboarding surfing freestyle motocross and everything that comes with that yeah but it's cool to have been able to bridge the gap between you know young Hollywood if you will and an action sports which I think kind of go hand in hand and now filmmaker and musician you come from that background your dad yeah. being a famous jazz musician and you know growing up with that lineage do, is it something that you feel like when you were younger you sort of rebelled against being a part of and then came full circle? Yeah, I did. Um, I grew up in jazz clubs with my kid, with my dad as I, when I was a young kid and then touring with him as I got older. You know, he toured with Paul Simon when he made this great record called Graceland and my dad took me out of school for three months and said, I think it'll be a good thing for you to go on a rock rock tour with Paul Simon for three months. I first met Hugh Masekela in 1966 in New York. Because of his political views, he's not allowed back to his homeland. Well, for people who don't know who your dad is, your dad was exiled or, or not allowed back in South Africa for something like 30 years. Yeah. He, he, he is from there and was a musician and left and then wasn't allowed back in for his political beliefs. Yeah. Well, my dad didn't believe that, that white people and black people shouldn't party together. That was the fundamental of his beliefs. And then as a youngster, he had to like sneak around to make music with his white friends for risk of, you know, getting arrested and thrown in prison. And at a certain point when his musical talent sort of rose to the point where people were really taking notice of it, he could no longer sort of stay underneath the radar. So what made you just name the film Alakazam? Well, when I was a little kid, um, when my dad was making music, he had a, a, a car out here and um, the license plate on the back was Alakazam. You know, when you're like seven, eight years old, you're like, you don't know what that means. And then one day he said to me, he's like, you know what that means, right? <laughs> and I was like, no. He said, that's, that's our name backwards. <laughs> Alakazam, Masekela. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> and when I started making this record, if I just say, it's like, sell Masekela and I made a record, I don't know if people are gonna give the music a chance. So I decided, what a fitting way to use Alakazam, where it's me, but not me. And then just sort of seep the music out there and see if the music could live on its own. So you just debuted the film at the Tribeca Film Festival. Yeah. How was it? It was crazy. It was, it was amazing. Well, you're used to New York. Yeah, but I'm used to being on the other end. I'm used to being the guy covering it. <laughs> you know, it's a completely different deal when, you know, people want to know about your film and they want to talk to you about it. And they, it resonated with people, you know, and I'm hanging out partying with Olivia Wilde and Lily yeah. Sobienski, and, <laughs> you know, having, having lunch with, with, uh, with Robert De Niro. And I saw it, that on your Twitter, actually. Yeah. I was going to talk to you about some of your <laughs> tweets because some of your tweets are really, really funny and, and super fun. Random. <laughs> super random. Well, one of them was, it was referring to Tribeca, I just met De Niro at lunch. Yeah, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> the welcome lunch was nuts. It was literally like, you know, like you said, is Camilla Bell, Lili Sobiensky, Robert De Niro. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, is, this, is there an invite wrong? But this, oh, I'm actually <laughs> invited. I'm, I'm in the, the red room. Carpet. Yeah, and it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And people really responded to the film, it was cool. You tweeted something about, um, the Mayweather fight. Him coming out in a Louboutin jacket. That was amazing. With the entourage. Louboutin, Michael Jackson jacket. And yes! I, I think oh I was one of, the, one of the few dudes who knew that it was Louboutin because of the studs. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, how did you know that? That's just years at E. You know, I didn't have a choice. You wear many hats. You're yeah. an outfit identifier I, I know the, well. the, the fashion world pretty well. And I was like, oh wow, like Louboutin make it, made him an MJ jacket with leather shorts. Like, this is crazy. And then you see 50, and then, what? 
It's Bieber with the James <laughs> Dean haircut. Like brain, brain overload exploding. I was kind of lost my mind. That was pretty That's incredible. It's not a bad entourage to have walking behind you. You better win. <laughs> That's true. If that's like your whole setup, you have to win. Yes, yes. So I think my your fans would be upset if I didn't ask you because you're such an avid surfer mm -hmm. and snowboarder. Best place in the world to surf and snowboard. Best place in the world to surf would have to be uh, the Mentawai Islands in Indonesia. That's my favorite getaway. 14, 14 days on a boat, no cars, no people, just surfing. Uh, my favorite place to snowboard would be uh, bald face in British Columbia, up in, um, yeah, what's up, Canada? <laughs> um, that's, that's it's a really beautiful place. Yeah, one of my favorites in the world. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. Do you want to take us out, Mr. Host, that you are? This has been us getting to know you via Young Hollywood. Stay tuned, this might bud. I think I just lost my job. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>